Hey, what's going on guys? Ben Brewster here with TriathlonX.com. Uh, this is the Arm Action Freestyle Drill or Drill Series. Uh, I first saw a version of this from Dave Coggin with PFA Baseball. Uh, he had Joe Kelly doing a series of drills. Um, I, for those of you who don't know, um, Joe Kelly obviously used to have a much longer arm path uh, when he was in the minor leagues and, and earlier in his career. And he saw a huge velocity bump and obviously became who he is today uh, after working with Dave and shortening up, compacting his arm action a little bit. So these are some of the drills that he does to keep a nice, compact, uh, fluid arm, uh, arm path in his delivery. What I like about these particular drills, these are not high intent drills. This is one of the first couple things you would do for the day at low intensities, and you're just trying to groove an athletic, almost infielder type arm path where you're not thinking about it, you're just letting your lower half move underneath you, and you're seeing you can create that arm path smooth, efficient from different lower body positions, moving in different directions, changing the feel of your delivery and just being trying to be an athlete. So it's almost like an infielder type warm up. Um, but I like this for guys who maybe they don't know how to dissociate their arm action from what the rest of their body is doing. A lot of times you'll see guys into ball release, they yank everything together. So the neck, the head, the chest, and the arm all work together. This, this basically teaches you to dissociate those, those from working together. So teach the arm to move independently of the neck. Teach the arm to be able to move and operate independently of what the torso is doing. Uh, teach it to operate independently of what the hips are doing. All these different pieces of the kinetic chain need to be able to work independently of one another. And so in doing and testing this drill with a number of our guys, testing it myself, uh, that's what I feel honestly the, the most important, uh, most effective piece of these series of drills is if you do them properly. So it's basically just three drills, although you can really take some creativity here and add in a number of other drills. Uh, the first is just walking towards the target and throwing, but it's not, it's not a step into rolling. It's running towards the target or jogging towards the target like you're an infielder making a throw to first base. So it just looks like this. Again, my arm has to work independently of the rest of my body because of the nature of that forward momentum. So what am I focusing on here? I'm focusing on just creating a compact fluid loop of energy through my arm path. The, arm, the glove arm has to work independently of my throwing arm. Again, I'm not just throwing like this. The glove arm's working independently from these positions. It's creating a compact loop of energy. I like to use that figure eight analogy where the arm path is basically uh, infinity sign like this. The glove arm tracks the top of the infinity sign. The throwing arm tracks the bottom like that. And then you close the loop, open the loop, close the loop. So I'm creating that compact loop of energy and doing so in varying body positions. Again, just an infielder throw, just like that. This pairs well, you can do a rep of that. It pairs well with the next one, which is just a walk back throw. The walk back throw looks like this. Again, just get your momentum going backwards and throw to the target. So you can do a, a forward throw, do a walk back throw, get the ball, forward throw, get the ball, walk back throw. And you can basically just alternate like that. Again, like 20, 30% effort. I'm using a seven ounce ball here. You can use a one pound ball or a five ounce ball, something medium to lightweight so that your arm can just move free and easy. Again, not a high intensity drill. And then the final couple you can play with, you can play with pivot pickoffs here. Um, when I first uh, kind of discovered the jump back pivot pickoff, I was just freestyling, having fun with the different arm, arm positions, different drills, um, just letting my arm work. And as I was going through it, I just hopped back and said, wow, that felt really powerful, really good. So jump back pivot pickoffs, That'll be a video I'll link in the description for you guys to check out as well. But that's one that you can add into this. Just let your arm flow, get it loose, being an athlete. Um, so the jump back pivot pickups, another one you can do. And then another one you can do is just a, like a hop, hop back rocker drill, hop back lasso drill. And it's just one of these. Compact loop of energy. Let your arm work. Let the throw unfold. Not much effort. Again, you'll see I'm letting the arm float and spiral and pull into ball release. Again, being an infielder, being an athlete, 
just letting your mechanics work. So all together, I'm gonna show you 30 seconds of the arm action freestyle, just kind of put together. And again, this is basically something that you can play with, customize yourself and modify the timing and the positions based upon your specific arm action. But I'm just gonna show you how it would look all back to back.